Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Jean d'Arc. Alright, so I say I loaded the previous save before doing the skill binding, and the, the the three hits really doesn't there's there's nothing that I can make with it that's you know worthwhile. So, uh and, and I don't have the ability to to combine it yet, obviously I don't have the, the other skill stones, but the the skill stones that I can combine it with really don't combine to make anything again, worthwhile. So, we're just going to continue on. We're going to go to, uh, Rowan, and there's going to be a ton of story for this, so I do apologize that this is going to be a very story-heavy episode, but only so much I can do about it. That the woman, known as Jeanne la Pucelle, did willfully and immodestly cut her hair and adapt the attire of a man, and continually sow disorder in the world through her bloodthirsty nature. Moreover, she has rejected the laws of the church, choosing to submit herself only to her false visions of God. I never committed any such crime! For these pernicious sinful acts against our faith, she shall hereby be denounced and declared an apostate of the church and heretic. Good Christians of war! See what befalls this vile sorceress who declares herself to be a savior! I beg you, don't do this! Listen to me, I am not the woman that you think I am! Do not allow the witch's mummery to sway you. Be gone with her! Light the fire! And let her finally be judged by the one true God the Father! <laughs> So, they're going to burn Leanne at the stake, and Roger is going apeshit on the English soldiers, just mowing them down like a John Deere tractor. But, unfortunately, he's not able to make it in time. Alright, so this has turned into a complete shit situation. Leanne's dead, burned at the stake, which is just terribly depressing, and Roger has turned into some sort of giant demon. This is just not... not our day. <laughs> And he seems to be rather strong. He's just kind of mowing through us. And... He doesn't seem like he's in control, though, at the moment. Not that there's an overabundance of control when you've got a giant demon. And so he teleports away. Yeah, what has happened to the man cub? The hire could not so much as move a paw. A reaper. That thing, it might be a reaper. Yeah, what's what's a reaper? Yeah, we kind of need to know what that just was. Please understand, it may be... It may be Roger is gone for good. Yeah, what what do you mean by that? Uh, 
And all sorts of freaky color changing. Alright. Oh, well, he transformed back, so... That's a thing. Yes, you saw it. The girl is dead. Jean killed her. No, she didn't. The asshole church killed her. I see it, all of it. Jean's fault. Alright, so, yeah. Roger. Lost it. Bad shit crazy. Demon. Leanne, dead. General, forgive Lahire. He should have tried to rescue the girl child sooner. Oh, it's all my fault. I only cared about France. About myself. She tried to tell me. Alright, so now is when the game's gonna start getting a little... Weird. The glowing light comes out of the fire and into the frog. The frog that eats and regurgitates skill stones. Can now speak. <laughs> I love this. Jean just kind of looks over and is like, Holy shit, did that frog just talk? <laughs> What's this doing on my leg? So that was the, uh, the armlet. The, the creepy light. So the armlet that I did not think Leanne still had. I thought they took it off of her, but apparently not. It's now on Cuse's. Because that's the thing. If Leanne had the armlet, why didn't she transform and use that to help try to escape? And Roger is now walking off. I love his sword. It looks very badass. Very intimidating. You the fiend's pet? Cluck off, birdie. Get it? Cluck off instead of fuck off? Haha, <laughs> get it? And tell the claw that feeds you that I owe him nothing. Well then. This is turning out to be just a horribly uplifting episode, isn't it? Oh, goody, you're back. Call. <laughs> what, what, what? He's woken the Reaper? Oh, do tell. Call. Call. <laughs> like, this part of the scene, it's kind of unnecessary, because... It really doesn't elaborate. It, it really doesn't elaborate anything. It's it's like okay, so now we know Henry the Sixth knows that the Reaper is like. It, uh, I don't know. It just seems like the pacing for a lot of the story could be done better. So that armlet was a family heirloom. After its previous owner died of illness, it was put out of sight for a time. Then one day it began to shine and whisked me away to Luther. To those woods in the frontier, you mean? So when did you turn into a toad? I, um... I was like this when I came to my senses. That makes absolutely zero sense. Why would some noble suddenly poof turn into food? He's hiding something. No, no, I'm not. But Luther did tell me stories while I was hiding in the woods. Lots of them. Take this fiend character that Luther uh, defeated during the War of the Reapers. 
Well, supposedly he's found his way back into our world. The Fiend? You mean... Gilvaroth. No, it can't be. It can and it is. The Fiend Gilvaroth has come back to life. And worse than that, his Reaper servants are awakening one by one. Like Roger. Yes, one of the Reapers was sleeping inside him all the while. The other sleep inside Francis' nobility and other powerful folk. Then King Charles is in peril. Yes, and the Fiend himself, he sleeps within none other than Henry VI. This is a catastrophe. Only the Armlet's holy power can defeat the Reapers. So Luther has been busy looking for them and their wielders. Let me ask you one thing. How many armlets are there? Five. Luther's armlet, which Jean wields. The armlet I've got on. Giles's and yours. Alright, so... That's... And as for the last... That, that yeah, there's... We're, we're missing one. Like... To find Roger, I have to change him. Okay, so... He, I don't think there's going to be a changing him back. The Reaper has been unleashed. You can't help Roger now. But what else am I supposed to do? France is in peril. Nay, the world. I'd like to arrange for you to meet with someone. Is that alright? Uh, no, we've got... Like... At the very least, we need to go stop the Reaper... You know, that's... The... Chapter 6, The Death Clad. That sounds... Exceptionally ominous, doesn't it? Begging your pardon, sir? Sir Giles is waiting outside. Alright, so we get to go talk to Richemont. Which, you know, he has just been kind of forced into early retirement. No, I'm glad you're here. So it's true. Much about your journey has already reached my ears. Have a seat. Allow me to get straight to the point. I wish to reassign you to a private guard under my command. With the ultimate goal of ferreting the Reapers out of hiding. If the King thought uh, relegating me to the middle of nowhere would somehow ass assuage my fears about friends of the future, he was wrong. Right now, Georges is the King's hand and Georges will not act. I need you all to act in his stead as the arms of friends. John, pay attention. Then let us discuss your first mission at once. Civil war in France needs to end if we are to oust the English. I need someone to persuade the Duke of Burgundy to end it. You seem rather disheartened. Why is that? Oh, it's because I just lost two of my best friends. About your attire. People think you are dead. Dressed like that, you run the risk of being recognized. You'll need to change. Let me find you some armor. Alright then. So now we get a new outfit for Jean. And it's actually kind of badass. It has no chest plate. It just has, you know, gauntlets, greaves, and cuses. <laughs> or no, cuses is a hip. I forget which one's the hip guards. But. But yeah, no, no chest plate. Which, you know, she kind of needs, considering she's already been shot in the chest with an arrow once. 
Is the higher the only one who thinks how she thinks she stands out even more? We're going now. Roger, Leanne. And what am I supposed to do now? And Cuses the frog. Comes in with a stick. Cheer up, Jean. Jean. I'll be right there fighting beside you. Cuses. You hear something else? Talking frog. Cuses joins your fighting ranks. Alright, so we're Chateau Richemont, and the next goal is to head to Chateau Burgundy. But we get to get, head through the Since Abris Ruins, and we now have another place, the Tower of Alsace. Tower of Alsace Free Stage has appeared. Alright, so, um, I don't think we can do any shopping here, but I want to check just to make sure. No. Uh, but let's take a look at Cuses. Cuses is a sword wielder. Uh, okay, so Cuses basically is Leanne in terms of basically everything we have access to. So, shield, sword, and a uh, uh, male? <laughs> it's like gender Ma male? Maybe? We don't know. But basically everything we had access to before she's got access to. Or she had access to, we have access with her. So, um... We are going to turn her into... Uh, let's see. MP plus 20... And... Um... I kinda wanna get another MP... Either another MP plus 30... Who has my MP plus 30? Uh, you've got 50, you've got 30. I don't think you need that. You can get MP plus 10. And Cuses will get the MP plus 30. I'll give... I'll give him MP plus 20. Not that, again, I really need MP on him, but... How many MP plus 100s did I have? Oh, I only have... Okay, so I only have the MP plus 50. Okay. And I've, I've got that on probably two people who don't need it. Uh... He definitely needs it. Who else has it? MP plus 50. So you've got it. You don't really need it. Do I have an... I I don't have an MP anything on John, but she doesn't have any abilities other than her... Her transform abilities, so uh, I guess we'll put HP recovery on. Actually, um, we'll do this. We'll do that, and give you MP plus 50. Give you MP plus 30. There we go. I'm kind of okay with that. Now, ever did I? 20, 20, 30. Okay, that that works. I'm 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 kind of okay with that. And that way Cuses is going to be a basically backup uh caster type. Not offensive, but uh support class is and then got the Paragon's armlet, so we'll have some ability you know, offensive to, to transform. So, yeah, I think that, that'll work out pretty well for her. Him. It. I guess. 
So, I'm gonna have a hard time not referring to it as... as Leanne, since... <laughs> we've been playing the game for so long that it's, it's Leanne. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and save here, and we'll end this episode. And I will see you guys in the next installment, where we will uh, either head to the free stage, or go ahead and head to uh, Chateau Richemont. Uh, or, uh, uh, Chateau Burgundy. And so, uh, I'm not sure which to actually go for. So we'll find out, and I will see you then. Now then, later everyone.